So I'm going to go for a short run with the Toto Bobo mask here. This is the large size. You see the nose clip, the two replaceable filters on the sides. Uh, it's cleanable. It's heat moldable uh, to your face. Uh, temperature right now is 56 Fahrenheit, 13 centigrade. And we have kind of low humidity at 18%. So in other conditions, this that might things might be a bit different, but it's certainly comfortable to wear. I wore it at the store this morning. My glasses didn't fog up. I didn't feel kind of overwhelmed by moisture in the mask. Let's see how it goes on the run. So I took a short run. We're at uh, 6,800 feet here. So it's almost like you got a bit of an altitude mask on. Uh, my glasses stayed secure. Um, I didn't, they never fogged up. I was breathing maybe a bit heavier than I'd like to, but I didn't feel a ton of moisture, even though you can see the condensation. What I did have to do is stop and readjust our little straps here, because as I was breathing out, the mask was coming out. So I adjusted them. Uh, they're snug behind the ears, but they're comfortable, these little straps. And the travel kit actually gives you some extra ones. So I think it's definitely an option for running if you need to wear a mask. And it's certainly a great option for general use if you're going to the store and so on and so forth. And with the replaceable filters, you're not throwing it away. You can sanitize all the rest and then uh, change out the filters. So I'll give you some more details right now. You can get them uh, shipped via DHL. It took literally two days, two, three days from Singapore. Uh, there is a surcharge. That's the only way they ship from Singapore right now because of postal restrictions of $29 to do that. But I'm gonna give you a few more details right now. So here's what we ordered from Toto Bobo. Uh, one large mask with the nose clip, a travel kit, which includes 10 filters, uh, plus another mask. And they were kind enough to send us their Pro filter. It has a 99 rating and a much higher surface area, so it's supposed to be very good for sports. We tested with the, just the regular filter. So, what does Toto Bobo say about um, the regular filter? A uh, study at um, Prince of Wales Hospital said that because you can heat in water with an air, hair dryer, you can get a, a better seal 70% of the time compared to 40% of the time with a N95 mask. It's rating, uh, it rated um, 133, whereas a regular N95 rated uh, 193, 100 being the passable score. They recommend uh, a maximum in, the, in low intensity places like in a shopping mall or uh, about a week of use out of the filter, and in any place where there is COVID, uh, the filter should be changed basically after every use. So uh, in terms of the pricing here, uh, the travel kit was $52 with the 10 filters. The mask, uh, the large mask uh, with one filter was $39.50. I got the nose clip version, so that's why it's $39.50. Uh, and the uh, Pro filters are $18. I'm not going to do the whole demonstration, but basically what you do is you open the little door here. You can see there's some clear el um, elastics that uh, kind of secure it even better. And essentially you snap this other filter in. And it will be uh, quite prominent on your face but it's supposed to um, give you much more surface area and a bit more protection. It's rated at 99 versus 94 for the regular filters. Uh, so they, they don't claim to be N95 because uh, th that would have to go through various certifications. But my friend Derek Lee, who's a physician in Singapore and, and one of our contributors, uh, has used them extensively for running when they have big forest fires, because as you can see in Singapore, they have forest fires uh, or smoke that comes from forest fires. You can see uh, 
what they're claiming here. So it's a great new option. Uh, they're comfortable, far more comfortable than my P95 mask. Uh, they stayed on my face. I didn't knock my glasses off as I did and broke the frames uh, with a cloth mask and a P95. So it's a good option in these tough days.